Okay, I'm going to go over the iCut production console software that drives the ESCO cutting table. And pretty much uh, we're going to assume that you have your file, your cut file saved correctly as a PDF, um, like we discussed in the previous video. Uh, and then we're going to come over here to the ESCO RIP. And this is the iCut production console, so console software. Uh, to get the job into the RIP, we're going to add the job down here. It should navigate to the ESCO cutter RIP queue, which is kind of the hot folder for this job or for this uh, machine. We're going to select our file, our cut file that we created, and we're going to choose Add. It's going to update and appear in the list over here. And then it's just a matter of double clicking that and getting in here and setting up our tools. We want to confirm that we have two layers in our file. Uh, for this particular job, we have a cut file, excuse me, a cut layer and then a reg mark layer. And so we're going to assign uh, the tools to the particular layer. In this case, we're going to assign the rigid material knife tool to the cut layer. And then we're going to add the camera uh, to the reg mark layer. So if you'll notice down here in the lower left hand corner it says the job is not ready for production uh, it's because the, the machine looks from the top down or runs from the top down and so before it can cut it has to know where, these, uh, where the image or the contour is so we've got to find the reg mark first. So if now when I switch the layers with reg marks first with the camera assigned and then the cut layer with the rigid material knife assigned, the job is ready for production. Okay, now that we have the software set up in our layers panel, we're going to check our production tab up here on the uh, top left just to make sure that we have registration set to registration marks and that we can check the speed or the accuracy. I'm going to leave this, you know, kind of leave that in the middle but other than that we're pretty much ready to go so we're going to kind of pay attention to how the um, file is laid out with our two registration marks over here in the uh, in the right hand upper right hand side and that i kind of want to have my um, uh, printed material over here on the cutting table oriented the same way you don't have to do that but it just makes life easier. And what I'm referring to is that those two register marks are over here in the right hand corner. So at this point, because we had a green check mark saying that the job is ready for production, it says we're ready to go. And so we come over here to the table and on the control panel, there is a play button and we're going to hit that. It's gonna start the job. So the camera is gonna look for that registration mark here in the lower right hand corner kind of highlights it for you so that's where you need to navigate uh, and push the camera uh, using the jog buttons over here on the control panel these are the jog buttons the double headed arrow is faster single headed arrow is slower but we want to position the camera over that uh, register mark so how do you know where you're positioning it because if you look over here at the monitor there's the camera window that pops up and that's kind of what we're going to be trying to spot. But the camera is this little black box right here next to the router that's flashing. So I'm going to position that over using the jog buttons. And I'm trying to position it over that first register mark. So if you look at the screen over here to the right, it shows you that that register mark is highlighted and it wants to know if, if that's the one then just come back over here to the control panel and hit the play button and the machine will kind of carry on. It's going to find that first registration mark and hopefully it'll find the, the others. So the camera is going around and spotting each one of those. That way it knows where to cut. So if it didn't find the registration marks, it doesn't know where to cut. So now the cutting will start to happen. If we kind of zoom in over here in terms of what it's doing, you can see that that knife down there is cutting out that contour shape that we established in Illustrator. So we'll let the machine kind of do its work 
And if we had done what we had set up first, where we had registration marks around each individual sticker, it would just slow this process down. That's why we put them all up on one big sheet with multiple copies with just one set of reg marks, because then it just finds that one set and then cuts all of those contours out at one time. So we'll just kind of let the machine run. Uh, when it's done, we'll just pick our stickers up and we're done with this project.